Hello there. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs. Let's just get right into it, okay? General for the collective. Super late at night right now that I'm recording this. You have secrets, mystery, cloaked and hidden. This is my midnight hour oracle. Something's a secret. Oh, secret emotions. You have the volcano. Anger, explosive passion. Someone's been trying to hide this. <laughs> it's not necessarily anger that I feel. They, It's passion. Maybe tinged with anger. <laughs> so <laughs> they've hidden this. It's like the lava has been sort of very well hidden beneath the surface and that's not the case much longer. It's something's about to blow. Something's about to be exposed. Love, passion, fiery chemistry. You know what I mean? It's about to blow. It's, it's, it's really sat very hidden for a minute. I mean, it's just like a volcano. Like, you don't know that it's going to blow till it blows. I mean, scientists can go and figure it out. They've got all these instruments, right, to be able to predict when it's going to blow. But normal fucking people don't know that. You just know when it blows. And you're like, oh my God, the volcano blew. Do you know what I mean? That's what this feels like. It's like everything that was hidden beneath the surface. And it's very scorpionic. Because Scorpio energy, I don't give a fuck if this is not a Scorpio. It doesn't matter. It's the energy of that. It's what lays beneath the surface. What has been laying beneath the surface hiding is going to fucking explode. And it's going to become known. The mirror threshold, reflection, self-awareness. It's a threshold. It's, it's something's going from being unknown to known, hiding to revealed. This is also someone that you mirror. You, I mean, it could be twin mirror souls. Yeah, X marks a spot. Faded encounter, meeting point, spot on. It's two souls, two fuckers who have crossed paths. They mirror each other. Somebody here hid all of the fucking passion, chemistry, emotions, and feelings that they felt. They hid it below the surface. And now it's about to fucking explode with the volcano. It's going to blow. It's going to blow. I think it's long overdue. And it's not like people would be surprised, too. I just get that feeling that people would be like, fucking obviously. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're never going to guess what so-and-so told me and they'll be all, try me. What? What did so-and-so say? They said that they had feelings for me. No fucking duh. <laughs> I get the impression nobody's going to be shocked. It's just like, yes, mm -hmm. we all knew that. The only you two fuckers didn't know that. Yep, here we go. If you watch my live earlier on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, we had the union card for my say la vie oracle, and now here we have it in my midnight hour. And remember now, my four Oracle decks are currently available for pre-order on my website right now, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And this week I'm closing pre-orders because they come from out of country and I do bulk orders. So if you want to jump on this bandwagon, you better hurry to fuck up. Union is Val's Twin Flame Soulmate. I told you it's a mirror fucking twin. X marks the spot. It's gravitational pull and attraction towards these two people. 
You know, I talk about this a lot because they showed it to me for years in my head. You know how parallel lines are, they're never destined to cross. Parallel, they're, they're meant to just be, you know, side by side by each other and never cross. But imagine parallel lines having such strong magnetic pull that it ends up doing that. That's what I feel like these two people are. They're two extremely powerful entities. For example, like Marshall says in his song, it's like when a tornado meets a volcano, actually. And there's the volcano. It's like when a tornado meets a volcano. It could be explosive, fiery, passionate, a lot of tension, right? Um, but they're fucking perfect for each other. They're yin, they're yang. It's like the perfect match. But it's not... I mean, it's two fucking forces of nature. It's a fucking tornado and a volcano. Because these are powerhouses. These two individuals, this masculine and this feminine, they're super powerful individuals. Leaders, bosses, entrepreneurs, right? You know, they're, they're successful, they're independent. You see, you have these individual entities that are powerful on their own coming together. I could see how it could be slightly combative or one wants to be in denial because it's like a pride thing, you know, you know what I mean? Um, or maybe both want to be in fucking denial because it's a pride thing. But in either case, this is union. And it's, it's a nonstop in the cards, union. Marriage, engagement, finally meeting for some of you. And it being fast and it being rapid. Let's say you just meet, just cross paths. You meet, you fall in love. Right? It's in the eyes, eye contact. You know what I'm talking about. If you watch my live earlier, I used the Mary Magdalene Oracle. And the last card that we fucking got was it blew me to fuck over. I think fainted several times during that reading. I don't even know where I was going with that. I lost my train of thought just thinking about that card. That card was all about, it literally said recognition. Like it's in the eyes. You recognize each other in the eyes. There's just nobody else that you could have hold eye contact with like that. When the two of you look each other in the eye, it is fucking undeniable. You may not know, oh, that's so-and-so from the past life. But it's like, there's just no way you're not somebody important. Because I feel you and I recognize you. And there's some sort of like unspoken recognition. The eyes are the windows to the soul. It's like the souls glimpse each other and go, oh my God, it's that one. Oh my God, it's that one. This is extreme magnetic attraction, but the eye contact on these two people would be... beyond electric. It would be like, like when you guys look each other in the eye, it'd be like no one else was in the room with you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it would be like the two of you guys are alone in the universe. It's, it'll be powerful and intense. And it would awaken something within you every single time you guys make eye contact. Is what I feel. Vows, I mean, go into the chapel and we're gonna get married candle is hope guidance and clarity crystal ball divination intuition and fortune telling so this is basically i mean maybe this is something that has been prophesized do you know what i mean something that has been prophesized something here that i mean it's like written in the stars you know what i mean
there's this feeling especially with the hope, the guidance, and the clarity. It's like clarity comes. Because remember, everything was hidden below the surface. It just, it just becomes crystal clear, like that crystal ball. It's like there's a moment of something blows or something becomes exposed, and it's just crystal clear. There's like extreme clarity here. The locked gate, off limits, guarded and defensive. There's this feeling like it was off limits, the connection itself. And then just like that, it just, like a threshold is crossed, right? With the mirror threshold. So the gate's locked, no entry, and all of a sudden someone just opens up. Like, you open up, they open up, the connection opens for the two of you to fucking merge. I don't know. But it's like the locked gate becomes unlocked. And then there's a threshold here that's crossed. The vortex. Opening cycles and threshold. That's threshold twice. So you're crossing some sort of threshold, right? That would be, what, from friendship to lovers? From platonic and casual and acquaintance to something romantic, sure. Some type of threshold is being crossed because now the, the locked gate is open. Like before, there couldn't be any sort of crossing over a threshold. How could you if there was a brick fucking wall or the gate was locked, right? You see what I'm saying? The skull, there's death, rebirth, transformation. There's a, the, the transformation and change is going from one thing, right? And crossing the threshold into this other thing. So something ends and something has to be, so it's an ending, death, and a rebirth, new beginning. There's a transformation that takes place here. And it's huge. It's life changing. It's a huge, life-changing transformation. Yeah, King of Cups. Oh, the King of Cups is about to spill it. I mean, the King of Cups is a, a masculine who's feeling emotions, right? He's holding a cup. It's filled with all of his emotions. It's like the cup will overflow like a dam breaks, if you will. There you go. See him? The dam breaks. This King of Cups is going to spill it. Seven of Swords, deception, because they were hiding it. Hiding their emotions. Again, what lays beneath the surface, all of the lava, it's like, mis it's, it's misleading though, isn't it? Because just because you don't see the lava doesn't mean it's not there, that there's not all this hot, molten lava below the surface. So you're looking at it, you're going, oh, nothing's happening, there's no attraction, there's no feelings, there's no emotions. But it was all below the surface. And that's what this Seven of Swords indicates is that someone here was really good at like hiding what they were feeling emotionally. 
physically, attra how physically attracted they were. And then here's the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here's got a lot of money. Someone's really financially stable, very successful. Something fell. And here's the fool, that leap of faith. Give me one second, please. I need to text someone back. All right, sorry about that. So it's someone takes a leap of faith, but it's also like full-blown leaping into something long-term, which which is the threshold. It's like, you know, with the full energy, it's like clean slate. It's like nothing really, right? It's zero. It's nothing. It's not even step one. It's nothing. There was nothing. Gates closed, gates locked. There's no sign of any lava. There's no, no sparks, no nothing. It's nothing. And then they jump into 10 of pentacles, which is huge, major, massive financial abundance. And now you have the five of cups. And the, the, the nine of wands, like this person has been very fearful, the, the hermit, Virgo, they've been keeping everything to themselves because of fear of rejection. Somebody here did a number on them in the past, but they're also like regretful because the five of cups indicates regret, right? You see, he's like not even willing to acknowledge the two of cups, but that could be really symbolic of them not wanting to make eye contact with you which we talked about earlier because for some reason, I mean, it's not for some reason, but with, for the two of you, eye contact is just, it's powerful. When the two of you are in physical, in the physical, in front of each other, making eye contact with the other, it's, I mean, I'm telling you, it's got the chills. The world stops. It's like you guys are the only two people in the goddamn universe. And they may have refused to look it in the eye, look you in the eye, acknowledge it. But there comes this point where everything explodes, where all this just basically gets thrown over there. You know, whatever they've been keeping to themselves with the hermit it's a leap of fucking faith. It goes from nothing with the with the locked gate into a full blown everything is what it is. It's just this huge threshold. Oh, King of Swords fell all, fell here on this pile because the King of Swords is poker face. The King of Swords is a person who doesn't reveal anything. Right? They're very stoic and they're very poker faced. That's all what's beneath the surface. Something changes, there's a shift. The volcano explodes. So could there be something that's like a catalyst that forces the King of Swords to now reveal his hand? Probably, probably. There's something that makes them go from this to this, that makes them take this leap. Like they don't even like just take a step over the, the threshold and like little pinky toe it over the line. Like you're talking the gate flies open and they just jump right into the motherfucker. It's very, it's extreme. So you go from nine of pentacles, which is single to 10 of pentacles, which is not. I mean, it's almost instantly. And it's like, there's not even really a conversation that may take place between the two of you. You guys just, it just is like one day it just the two you're, you're together but there's got to be a conversation first 
And I'm not saying the conversation has to be full blown. Oh, I love you so much. And they're going to confess. And blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know if it's going to be full blown like that. I don't know. But I do know there's a goddamn offer. King of Pentacles. They're going to offer something which solidify or communicate something that solidifies you guys into something that goes and, and ends up this. It, you're going to end in union. And it's like, you guys, it's just you jump into it. It's sudden and it's very out of the blue and it's very quick. It's like blink of the eye. I know I messed up everything. Yeah, well, they're self-aware. We did see that in the mirror card, right? Self-aware. I know I messed up everything. They sure fucking did. They sure fucking did. I know I messed up everything. They did something or didn't do something. I left you before you could leave me. Remember, nine of pentacles, excuse me, nine of wands and the five of cups. Something about their energy was, was that kind of a vibe of like, I've been hurt in the past and now I'm going to really guard myself. So they may have been a self-sabotager in your connection. Just basically. I hide behind material things. They could. Right? This person could hide behind material things. Bougie. I hid who I really am from you. No fucking shit. Because they were coming up as king of swords. But really it was a king of cups. King of pentacles. King of wands. Right? Everything about emotional or physical attraction or attraction period. They hid. So that's what they hid. Basically it's like. They was, I mean, from day one, they was your goddamn husband counterpart. But the, what they hid who they really were because they just almost, remember the gate was locked. They hid themselves because they're like trying to protect themselves. They're not, they want, they want to let you in because you already got in and they're like, how the fuck you got in? Nobody get in. And I was like, let them in. I didn't let you in. How the fuck you got in? So it's like a weird sort of thing that like you kind of like open the gate and they're all like, well, excuse me, how did I get in here? You, you, but now the gate's wide open and, and they're letting you in. One more and we're going to get into extended, which you can rent on my website. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah, because they were an ass. They did something really fucking dumb. Messed up, didn't say nothing. Now it might be too late. I don't know. But if you want to rent this, click both video the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. Click on the first one. It'll take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. There you can rent this in the um, extended readings and special love slash oracle readings. Also on my website, you can, this is already sold out, my love me tender, but my summer love and bracelet pre-orders are available. And again, this is the last week for you to get the, a pre-order off of one of my four oracle decks that I have um, created, okay? Oh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. If you want to come to my Hawaii meet and greet, that's going to be July 23rd. Tickets are on sale. Um, I would love to meet you if you're here in Hawaii or if you want to fly in, right, to meet me. Remember, it's totally different and separate from my Hawaii retreat. Um, with the Hawaii meet and greet, you buy a ticket just to the event on the 23rd. Um, but just like any other meet and greet, if you want to, most people fly in for my meet and greets. Um, you can just put yourself up in a hotel, your own transportation, you say all of that stuff and then come to the event. So I will see you guys in this extended on my website. Thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Love you. Bye.